Hey guys, what's up? This is Ugly Kid back with another video. And before this video gets started, please leave a comment down below. That would be awesome because I make reading your comments videos. So if you guys leave a comment on this video or any other video, it'll go into reading your comments video 100% guaranteed. So please go ahead and do that. Um, but today we are going to be going over all of the news of this week. A um, lot of off-season news. Uh, so let's get right into it. Alright, so again, um, I'm going to be going off over some off-season news. It's actually my fifth time trying to record this video. Um, not fifth time, geez. I have five stories, that's why that was in my head. Um, this is my second time trying to record this video. I forgot to turn my mic on, so that's frustrating. If it was my fifth time, I would not be trying to record this again, geez. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about five stories that um have happened over this week and um I've never done a video quite like this before um I'm going sorry lighting is a little a little bad now it's a little bit better um so I if you guys did see my um off season video while talking about how this channel is going to be in the off season I said I'm going to be trying to record a video every week and I'll uh, report any stories, but this week there was multiple stories. There's actually five that I will be reporting in this video. Um, so I'm making a video like this where I just go over all the news of the week. I don't know how many I'm going to do like this. Uh, it, for example, next week um, there's like a whole bunch of stories, like at least five stories, maybe even three. Um, then I'll, I'll try to make a video just like this one. So, yeah. But we are going to go through the five stories, kind of frustrating, because I have to read through all of these again. I already did that a few minutes ago, but uh, I'm fine with doing it again for you guys. So, starting uh, right away, this is not that big of news, um, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of big news. No, no, it's really not. Anyway, Trevor Simi is expected to hit the trading block. Um, I don't care at all. I really don't care if Simeon stays or leaves. Um, at all, and uh, I forget which an NFL analyst said this, but he said the best we could get for him is a seventh round draft pick. So it's kind of um, mean to sit me in, I guess, but I mean he's probably right. Um, so kind of sad, but yeah, I really don't care if he stays or leaves. If there's any Simeon fans, tell me if you're sad about him leaving in the comment section below. All right. Second story um, is kind of a ba bad news um, for Broncos fans because if you guys don't know, that uh, everything with Kirk Cousins has been crazy um, ever since the Alex Smith trade where Alex Smith was traded to um, the Redskins. There's been a whole bunch of chaos with Kirk Cousins, what team he's going to go to and stuff in this, and all. I'm about to report why this is bad for the Broncos, well, if you are, if you do want Kirk Cousins as your quarterback, uh, if you're a Broncos fan, I definitely want Kirk Cousins as a quarterback. I am very excited if we are able to get him, but uh, maybe you want a different quarterback, so this maybe is good news for you. Uh, tell me what whether it's good news for you or not in the in the comments. Um, but what the news story is is the Jets said that they will pay anything or well, anything necessary to sign Cousins. Um, so, yeah, that's what they said. So that is not looking good for us. I was hoping maybe Elway would say something like, we are also willing to pay anything, uh, but he didn't. He hasn't, well, he has, he has done one thing I'm about to get into. Um, well, not official, but yeah. So anyway, Kirk Cousins, all the crazy stuff with that, I would say, has been narrowed down to three teams he is going to uh, probably go to, and that is us, the Broncos, the Jets, obviously, and the Browns. I think those are the three um, teams left that he's probably going, going to go to. I don't see him going to the Browns, uh, especially since the Jets are offering a lot of money, and then the Broncos are offering him. Uh, wins basically. So I don't know if he wants to go to the Browns, but maybe uh, he he might feel like he fits there. He might uh, bring the team up 
but uh, we'll see. I don't think that will happen, but it might happen. And then going back to what I was saying, Elway kind of did something. This isn't official at all, but um, there was a news story that uh, that came out, I think, today, I'm pretty sure, um, about that we actually might um, keep Emmanuel Sanders to try to lure um, Kirk Cousins into the Broncos because he is going to want um, great wide receivers like Emmanuel Sanders. And for me, that is a win-win because um, Emmanuel Sanders is my favorite player. That might change if Kirk Cousins comes to the Broncos, but um, if Emmanuel Sanders is my favorite player, so if he stayed, that would be amazing. And Kirk Cousins coming to the Broncos, that would definitely be a win-win uh, for me. I'd be so excited for the next season. Um, so, yeah. And then um, one last little thing on this story is that uh, Elway s said this week that he is um, very interested in A.J. McCarron. If you guys don't know who that is, um, that is the Bengals' backup quarterback. And... Me personally, I don't think that I don't I don't like that at all that he said that. Um he said that instead of saying, Yeah, we'll offer him a lot of Kirk Cousins a lot of money too, he actually just said, I'm interested in AJ McCarron. I don't like this because I think AJ McCarron um, he is v pretty good for a backup. I feel like he's going to be another Osweiler if he does come to the Broncos. So um, I don't want another Osweiler. I don't know. I don't want another medium, mediocre quarterback. Uh, so yeah. But then my third story is about Jarvis Landry because I have a lot of Raiders fans that watch me and they have been talking about how Jarvis Landry might come to the Raiders. Um, so this might be bad news for you, but I don't think he is going to be going the Raiders. The um, Dolphins put a franchise tag on him uh, Tuesday, so he will uh, most likely be traded. Um, and then the most the possible landing spots are pretty much narrowed down to the Titans, the Saints, and the Bears. So Raiders are not on that list. Uh, sorry, guys, if you are excited about Jarvis Landry. Um, but yeah, and then, um, another pretty big, well, kind of big news story is Doug Martin was released, um, I don't remember which day it was, but this week, Doug Martin was released from the Buccaneers, and, um, Ethan, if you are watching this, text me what do you think about this trade, I'm guessing you're probably, um, upset, because I think you, Doug Martin was one of your favorite players, but, um, it's, this was kind of expected, Doug Martin definitely underperformed this season for how much he's getting paid, and last season, um, Doug Martin's, uh, career with the Buccaneers has been definitely really up and down, 2015 was a really good year for him, 2015, 2016, um, so, yeah, I think this was pretty much expected to happen. He, he's being paid a lot. They would have had to pay him more if they kept him, and he's definitely just underperforming, so it makes sense. Also, Doug Martin did re like a release this uh, little thing on Twitter saying how, how um, he really respects the Buccaneers organization, and he's glad how well they treated him, but he also said um, that he thinks his... Uh, his f best football is still ahead of him, so still letting um, other teams know that he is available um, and he will be playing better football, he says. I don't know if his best football really is um, still ahead of him, but he's definitely saying that, uh, hoping another team will pick him up. I would say another team will eventually probably pick him up, um, but um, there's no news on that, Who, which teams or anything. No one's really that interested in him at all. Uh, so, yeah, but then my last uh, fifth and final story actually happened today. This might might even be the biggest story of this week, but Marcus Peters is going to be traded to the Rams. Um, this isn't official yet, but it was reported by Ian Rappaport, um, so his news is pretty um, official. When he says it, it's probably... It's pretty much guaranteed to happen. Not totally guaranteed, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, there's no details of the trade uh, yet reported about what the Rams will be giving the Chiefs in return. But this is very interesting. Chiefs making a lot of move this offseason. The um, pretty much biggest trade in the offseason so far has been the Alex Smith trade. That has affected a lot of other teams, including us, with the whole Kirk Cousins thing. Um and now they're doing this thing with Marcus Peters. So we'll see who um, is going to end up winning this trade. Uh, I kind of, I in the Alex Smith trade, I kind of feel like um, 
the Redskins won, because uh, I don't know if the Chiefs back up, I forget what his name is now, I don't know if he's really that good, uh, if you guys are really loyal Broncos fans, you watched every game, uh, if you saw the last game, we did play that quarterback, so uh, you could judge him on that, he played pretty well, but I don't know, he, I would say he's a little bit better than Osweiler, um, I, I don't know, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking, so I thought the Chiefs kind of lost in that first trade, and then this trade, I have a feeling they're just going to lose this too, because Marcus Peters is a big player, I'm guessing Rams will be giving him um, draft picks or something, uh, but we'll see, because it, again, has not yet been reported. All right, so that's going to be the end of this one. Uh, this was actually really fun to record, a lot of news stories. I thought there might be, like, a story a week. There probably will be later in the off season, but for right now, there is still quite a few stories, um, so I'm glad I am able to make a video like this one, so I'm still uploading regularly good videos. This was a quality video instead of me just uh, trying to extend the video um, with one story, but I had multiple stories, so uh, off-season going really great for this channel so far. Hopefully it continues, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh. Tell them. Broncos, they the truth. Quick to hit you with the mind, I salute. Got the doubters and the haters on mute. From head to foot, drink down an orange and blue.